Okay, yeah, it seems like it works. All right, boys, let's get into it. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Okay. Now. Is the order swapped? I guess it is. We did not do that. Did we do O to the Moon last time? We did Sauna. We did Dread. I think Dread was the last one we did last time. We did not do that. We did not do that. We did that. We did that, right? Did not. Did not. Until midnight we did, right? That was the one that got weird. Or was that Orange County? I don't know. We're going to have to wing it here just a little bit. Killer bees we definitely did not do. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to have to be a little bit prepared on this. The found footage from the Killer Bees case has been leaked online. You can witness what the officials hid for all these years. Strictly 18 plus. Well, it's going to come up on another window, so let me do that quick. And then I'm going to have to do a switch over here. New properties. Uh, where the fuck? 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 Please, God, where are you? There you are. Is that it? Yes. Yes, it is. Thank God. Okay. Let's do it then. Again, please scream at me if... That's just awful. Bees, my god. Okay. Um... I can't help but notice there's no normal here. Uh, go big or go home, I guess. VHS? PS1? Go with PS1. Yes, tape one. Um. Light. What is light? Man, I hate Mandela Catalog. Hello, little lady. What's your name? I'm gonna call you Lucille. Hmm. Door? No, apparently not. I see the lights are coming on by themselves as I get close. That's good wiring, I guess. Hello? Am I gonna have to fight the candy man? Is that why there's bees? Okay, it's just the floor creaking. We're good, boys. We good? Bullet. Never trust bathtub. Okay, definitely don't trust bathtub like that. Hmm. Huh. Nothing's happening and it's getting to me a little bit. Even more bullet. All right. The fuck? Take that. Noises. It doesn't sound like bees. Bees! Bees! Back it up! Back it up, motherfuckers! Christ! Yeah, you know, you'd think a revolver would be ill-suited to killing a swarm of bees, but... Seem to be doing well so far. Oh, let me just... Okay, yeah, had to make sure. We're good still. Ah. Uh, eh? Wow. I'm blue, da ba dee da boo die I do anything with you, window? No? Is the moonlight pouring in just right? Huh. What a bonehead. I see him descending into hell. 
Where are you at, bitch coward B? No, I can actually turn off my flashlight. I guess it's more like a lantern than it is a flashlight, huh? Liquor. I wouldn't trust any liquid around here, I'll be honest. Bees have a habit of being attracted to anything, really. See that video of the two bees opening up the bottle of Gatorade? That shit freaks me out, man. Well, I'm at full ammo, so I'll give it a sec. Back it up. Oh, God. They're all over me. They're in my eyes. Ugh. Fucking bees. Huh. I have no idea where I am. Environment at least appears different, so I'm gonna assume I'm doing progress. Hello? I could go with a Sodico blowjob right now. I can go with that. I guess I'm not so fortunate. Is that the Night Clowns? Sounds like it. Door? No door. Okay, I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. That was actually pretty good. Spooky spaghetti shim is right off to a raw like yellow. Where have you been all my life, beautiful? Buckshot does a little bit better. Although, come to think of it, I guess birdshot would do the same thing. They're pretty goddamn small. What the fuck? Fuck? Yeah, take more of that. What's this bullshit? Spell winding circle? Yeah. How the hell do you get snuck up on by bees, lady? Ah. How did you do this? Back it up, devil spawn. Can I switch weapons? Uh, uh, one, two... Three? No. Scroll wheel? No. Mouse three? Mouse four? No. Huh. How bizarre. Green. Huh. That's usually a bad sign. I guess I passed a phone at some point. Yeah. Moshi Moshi. Um. Hello? Huh. Well, I guess there's no getting through that. Um. You know, I'm tempted to take a shot, but I don't really want to waste the ammo. Hmm. Hello? B-Boys, have you seen, like, an axe I can use to chop some wood? Getting back close to that TV. Ooh, you're bound to just that spot, huh? Okay. Yep, passing by the night clowns again. I'm a little bit lost, I'm afraid. I feel like walking backwards is not an apt solution. Hmm. Oh my god. You know, I didn't think getting lost in a hallway was possible, yet here I am. Come on. You know, I picked it up, and then just nothing happened. I clicked use on it, at least. Unless one of these opens. 
No. No. Nothing happens when I use you. Yeah, well, taking a shot. Nothing happens. Fuck. Well, I guess we're going back then. Oh, never mind. That did just kind of open up. What the fuck? Is that a ham? That is the full glazed ham? I'll take that. Yeah, fuck it. Bullet for backup, I guess. Just the floor creaking. I just saw I'm in a honey home. Hello? Sir? Who might you be? Do you need help? Because I don't think I can offer any at this point in time. I also don't know how to... Oh, it's Q. Q is switch weapon. That's odd. But who am I to complain? Another spellbinding circle. No oh, god. God damn it! Die, god damn it! No oh, Jesus. Ugh. Awful. Still not quite. Alright, well. Oh, Jesus! Just spawn right on top of me, why don't you? Get off me, please! Oh, uh, one more, I guess. Uh-huh. Hello? Do it again. I know you wanna. Yep, there it is! Take your sweet time! Ah. 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 Fucking hate bees. God damn. We're good. It's all good. Or not. Or fuck me, I'm gonna die. <sighs> Come on. Get away from me, motherfuckers. Ah. Fuck off. God. Open the door, please. Open the door, please. Open the door, please. Thank you, ham. Ham, delicious ham. Succulent ham. Well, yeah, that about ended things. Hello? Any other bees have a problem with me? Probably. Uh, where the... Rough day to be you. Oh, you're alive. Alright, good to know. I thought at that point it would be like putting it out of its misery, but... Eh. Semantics. Hello? Anyone there? How many hyper-realistic blood moments? Enough. seem to be a bit worse for wear there, compadre. Huh. Oh god, again? Where are you gonna spawn out of? You might want to get out of here, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Goddamn bees! Fuck! Sink! Ugh. Ugh. Fucking bees. Pick up the bullets. Fucking Christ on the cross. Every time. Eh, that's a dead end, not really worth warranting. Last wave, please. I hope. Brain of God. Why do you always have to spawn like that? Get away from me! Fuck bees. Fuck them. You know, I can do with an assist there, beekeeper men. Just saying. Uh. Better question why the mo. Okay. Fucking Christ. I don't know, man. I just work here. Skulls? Skulls! Skull doggery! I didn't even notice. Eh. It's a fun little thing. That's a good game over screen shit. Hello, random person. Huh. Good time. Yes, 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 I know the thing. I know the deal. I saw. I saw the thing. Yes, we're good. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm pressing buttons. I'm pressing buttons and it don't do thing. We good? Uh, it seems to not be registering my mouse now. There, that's easier. Okay. Let's continue right along down the list then. Do that. All right. Now, what was next? Uh, Filth Breed we did last time. Did we do Erasure last time? I need to... Oh, yeah. It's that one. It was the, the VR serial killer one. Echo Yume? Give me an exploration game into which you traverse a cat-filled dream world. Huh. Seems like you combined Yume, Niki, and LSD here. Just going by this. Okay, get that up and running. Then I have to do a bit of a switch up again, because it always opens a new window. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, where are, where are you, though? Where are you? Where are you, though? Um, there you are. Okay, Lotus Interactive. Um, why isn't my mouse being registered here? Hello? Do you only use the menu for this? Enter. Hell yeah, I guess you must. Cancer. Stato. Discord post simulator. I suppose so, huh? What's this funky beat? Yeah, for whatever reason, my mouse just isn't registering. Hang on. Weird? Hang on. Um, oh! You know, I can use a controller for this, but... For some reason... Wait. Is this tank controls? No, it's not. I can strafe still. Oh! You want me to use the fucking arrow keys for the camera? That's weird. Never seen that before. Cat. Uh, e. Cat. Cat. E. 
E. Enter. E. Enter. Q. Never mind then. Have fun. What are you, a checkpoint indicator? Yeah, I guess you must be. Yo, what's that thing? I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna go touch it. What are you? You're purple. Come back, strange bird cat. You seem to not be doing anything to me. Eh, well. You have a good day, whatever the fuck you are. Huh. Yeah, this is pretty LSD Dream Simulator. Ooh, what's that? I'm gonna jump in. Yeah, that's LSD, all right. We in there, boys. Hey, Lakers, welcome. Where am I, Silent Hill? Eh, a little bit. Got the chain link thing going on. Um, did I come in through here? Or... Are we doing, like, a layered reality thing right now? Oh, good. I can go in the trash where I belong. Have you done the sauna one? I have, yeah. Uh, I know there is another ending to that, where you, like, do your full chores beforehand. But, uh, when I played it, I couldn't collect the third bucket of water, so... Yeah. I don't know, it just wasn't registering for whatever reason. Space. The final drug trip. I hope Shatner's doing okay for himself these days. He seems like he's in pretty good health. I guess I'm just wandering into the galaxy. Is there a UFO around? UFO. UFO, where are you? Oh! Sephiroth summons Meteor in the distance. Cool. Where the monster just chills with you. Um. You know, I approached it, nothing happened. Why, uh, why did the glass panes turn color? I can't jump off. Oh, well, this is weird. Can I touch you? No oh, I can. We're in the Red Sky Dimension. We're in Batman the Animated Series, Season 4. Yo, is that a pagoda? I like pagodas. Don Gato. It's him. Can't do anything with you, though. What is the meaning of you? Strange cat icons. You started funny Disney game? Nice. Hope you have a good time with the Friendship Simulator. Is there a way into this place? Or is it just gonna warp me when I touch it? No, apparently not. Yo, what's that? Police tape? Those were made to be crossed. Let me in! Oh my god, it actually did. Funky. Oh crap, we're downtown. I'm gonna get mugged. Kitty. Kitty does nothing. Hmm. Huh. Yo, who that? He vanish. He's gone. I'm being teleported against my will now. Day two? Day two? I keep getting alerts. Hang on, one sec.
Okay, I have to make sure. We are, I guess, start day two? I guess? That's a little bit more dire than last time. Yeah, I'm in a different place. Kitty. Weird. It is very LSD, isn't it? Orange. Todd Bot, when will Orange Cassidy win the belt? Can I sell fish here? I can do that. Will you actually let me? I'd appreciate it. Hmm. Field. Actually, this is where I was, but it wasn't quite this colored. He's painted now. Someone graffitied him. Hmm. Anything out in this weird forest? Am I gonna find the Slendy Man? No, I guess not. Huh. Have you anything to add, Dongato? Seriously, what are you? Huh. You have to do something, for God's sake. Okay, I can warp through here. Oh, good, I'm back downtown. But to what end? Ghost Cat! Phantom! Come, my noble phantasm! Okay, Airhorn, calm down. Nice car. I hear another one. Where is he? There you are. Once he was lost, now found. Hmm. Did you spawn at one of the other lights now? Is that what happened? Come back, wherever you are. There you are. Come to me, kitty. I can still hear him. Yep, right there. I hear him. Is this doing anything? I'd assume it would. Hmm. Step into the funky squares, sure. Boat. I see you, purple cat. Hmm. We're on to day three now. Weird. Funky, even. Hmm. Huh. Ugh. Do day three. See what happens. <sighs> if you read this, hero bind will blow you. Would that be a block job? Block job sounds painful. Hello? Who dat? I see you over there. What's going on over here? You fly. Catfish. Hit them. Majestic. Hmm. Huh. Hello? Excuse me. Great conversation. Very unresponsive. Not helpful in the least. Is that a turtle? I go hang out with a turtle. Do 
Excuse me, sir. Wait up. I have need for your sage knowledge. What a beautiful creature. He push. Mm, no help. What about you, tree? You seem important. If I was a betting man. No, but I am getting those weird cat checks. What, are they outside the wall? Or are they inside the wall? Yeah, kinda. How bizarre. Well, time to drown myself. No, it's not even that deep. Shit. Out of the way, catfish. I have places to be. Hmm. Ah. Uh, can I grab your line? No, but I can stand on it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, I thought I could walk on this line. You really have nothing to add, do you? Weird. What is the meaning of these strange cat checks? You know, I feel like I would have seen that before, and yet I somehow didn't. Large. Let's see what's through here. If anything, you know. Okay. Let's see what happens. Now we're back downtown, but it's at least midday now. Goddamn gangs. The fuck was that? Ah. Uh, what the fuck? Huh. Guys, what are we doing here? I can't interact with it, whatever it is. Huh. Alright. Anyway. Well, that's a thing. Hey, you in the car. Stop. Or, you know, don't have any collision. That works. Normal day. Yes, it is. Hmm. You know, the days ended every time I came to this wharf. You. Goddamn ghosts. What in God's name? It's an Eldritch Abomination. Well, I didn't wake up this time. Hey. Just having a good time there, aren't you? Weird. Uh, I went through there before, didn't I? At least something similar to it. Let's try the back alley. Maybe that'll be a little bit more fruitful. Oh, good. A normal cat that's sinking into the ground. No, you're a giant catfish. With no collision. Things are getting stranger as we go on. Oi! You! Stay there! I see you. And labeled an elder's abomination. That happens to the best of us. Phantom. What did you do to warrant such a reaction? You're not circumcised or something? Because that usually does it. Well, we're back at the wharf. Huh. Strange. You, purple one. God damn it, stop running away from me. Eldridge cat is gone. Orange cat, you're gone. 
Why does everyone I care about leave me? Dumpster. Oh, good. Now I can hang out with all the other artists. Or not. I got an exclusive club. Huh. Can I hang out in one of these shacks for the night? Apparently, yes. Go figure. Oh, good, I'm back at the temple. Huh. You know, this day is lasting a while, isn't it? Hmm. Sky Cat and the World of Tomorrow. F. F. Strange. Can I do anything with you yet, Weird Tree? No, apparently not. Hmm. It's getting trippier as we go on. Maybe we try up here again. I haven't done that since day one. Now, the warp point is gone from this weird spring, so I guess that's not an option anymore. Like, what the fuck is going on down there? What, you got a congregation? I'm gonna get down there and give you a piece of my mind. Hang on. I'm a coming. Or not. Huh. Well, we're moving on to day five, I guess. Huh. What an odd drug trip. Oh, God, my back. Ugh. Give it a good stretch out. Okay. Begin day five. Eh. No, I meant the galaxy walk. Can I go through it this time? It's a different color. Usually a good thing, right? Dreaming with cats everywhere. Yeah, about right. No, I still can't go through it. Shooting star. Make a wish. And another one. Apparently. And another one. Just giving them out for free, aren't you? Day five of Smonk. Hmm. Yeah, we're connected to last time, but can I go in the trash? You! Stop digging through that! No, I pulled him out. That works. Now I'm back over here. Fisherman, have you anything to say? Still no, huh? No, apparently you do. Oh god, I'm back at the dumpster. Hello? Excuse me. A little bit lost here. Eldridge Cat still absent. Why are you always so tired, motherfucker? Okay, you just go ahead and change like that, I guess. I gotta cut down on the drugs. Hmm. Why the cone? Apparently no reason. Weird. I hear you. I got you. You are mine now. Can I go through the tunnel? No, I guess not. Hmm. That wasn't there before. 
do anything with it. I was expecting something to be standing behind me that time. Hello? Well, yeah, just you again. Better than the alternative, I suppose. Man, mushrooms must be amazing. It's an odd footstep sound. Hmm. When's it gonna turn into weird shit? I know you're gonna do it at some point. No. Now I'm fine. Hmm. Yes and no sometimes. <laughs> Dumpster. No. Hmm. That must be some solution that my small brain is missing. I hear Gato, but I know see Gato. He must be absent. Or maybe I am a dumb. No, no, there you are. Take him. Make him yours. Mine. Hmm. Clearly I'm missing Well, that's awful. What are you casting the infinite Sukiyomi? Christ. Goddamn blood red moon. Back on the other side of the wall now. Take a cat. Surely this has to be doing something. No, he's not over here. There you are. You are right around the corner the whole time. I assume I have to get through a full week of sleep, right? Oh, hey. I have found one cat. Singular. Day six. Do it! Let's see what happens. Yep, seems pretty normal. At least for... You know, I feel like I would have seen that before. I would have seen God Cat on top of the mountain. Can I get over there? Again with the dings. Hmm. We must make haste. Oh, that's up there. I didn't see a way that kept going up the mountain. It was just a stream. Hmm. You fly. You know, I don't think I've gone in the castle yet, have I? Let's try and do that. Hmm. Aha! There is something. Go down. See what happens. Oh, you lead downtown. Huh. Oh, it's at dusk. Is Eldridge Cat here? No, he had better things to do. What a funny cat game. I don't see Phantom Cat around this time, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, nowhere to be seen. Necco. Already? Hmm. Shit. Apparently. Day seven. Do something weird. I know you wanna. Where am I now? Uh, library? That's new. How's it going, fellas? Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> ah, shoot me. Huh. How did I get here? Hmm. How's that sound? Excuse me. Does any staff work here? What are you guys doing? Nothing, apparently. Just scattering. I'm back downtown? Huh. I suppose so. Man. Drugs are weird. No, he's still gone. Shit, you're warping me at rapid succession. Well, we're back in the library. You know, I haven't been to this part of... No, I have, haven't I? Just connects to there. Was that closed before? Yeah, I guess it must have been. Hang on. Let's see if we can't go up to the top again. Because the cats aren't here now. Hmm. I'm expecting a man with an axe to just come fucking screaming at me down the hallway. He'll probably have, like, a cat's head, but that'll be fine. No, no, still warp me. Weird. Well, you're somewhat consistent. Just having you wake up in the middle of the road into oncoming traffic. Dumpster's a no-go. Was it nighttime before? Huh. Still absent. Hmm. Huh. You, ghost cat, stay there. I need to have a conversation. Come here. Come here. Bastard. Um, okay, this is happening. Oh my god, I found the Nexus of Creation. That's not how I expected this to go. But okay. I've seen weirder. Um. Hello? Is that you, God? It's me. Your boy. Huh. Not exactly talkative, are you? This would explain why my prayers always go unanswered. I don't exactly see another way out of here. God, would you like to have a conversation, maybe? You and me? You know. A little light of heart to heart? No? Okay. Can't do anything with these? No. Hmm. How strange. Off I go, I guess. Astonishingly not awake. Now I'm back at the stand. Pink! There's a... Wait, wasn't it just day seven? Huh. How long do you go on for? Back at the galaxy? Still inaccessible? Find out. Ba -da -ba -da. 
No, apparently not. Asteroid, what mysteries do you hold? I could do with some wisdom. Take me somewhere. Oh. How odd. Have we ever been here at nighttime? I honestly don't know. Let's go over here. How was that? Oh. Okay, just teleport me. Shit, days are moving by fast. Hey, ten. Ah. What? In Christ, man. Why you gotta be so trippy all the time? Hmm. Huh. Hello? Still nothing with you, huh? I'm just gonna pretend that's not a blood texture on the ground and move on. What about you, turtle? No? Still nothing. Just making weird sounds. Seriously, what are you? What secrets do you behold? I'm not going to give this one too much longer, I don't think. Like, it's interesting, but there's not a lot going on. I mean, I guess to be fair, if it is emulating LSD, yeah, that's what that game was. Blood Ocean. Let's go for Big Cat. Big McLarge huge. Do this. Or, or not. Whatever. Okay, now you work. Now we're back at God. Illuminated by the light of Dungato. Dungato D'Angelo. Hmm. Well, this is the second time I've found you, God, so... You wanna talk yet, maybe? No, I guess not. That's moving at a very specific frame rate. Huh. A classic image. My neck and my back are killing me. Ugh. I slept like shit, man. I got woken up after three hours, and then I couldn't get back to sleep for another three hours. It sucked. Ugh. And then after that, I got like... Four or five, I think? Something like that. Seriously. You doing anything? No, I guess not. Last time we used this part. Yeah. At least it's consistent. Oddly enough. Look, it's Eeyore. Come back. Oh, you work. Surprising. Back by the pagoda. Stop dinging. It's weird. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Drugs are funny. Yeah, you with your noise, turtle cat. Hmm. Let's go see if that fountain thing is open again. Actually, can I see it from here? No, not really. Huh. Ooh. 
God. Fucking Christ, stop yawning. Kitty. Kitty. Come here. Translucent. You make weird switch step noises. Seriously. Why do I keep coming back downtown? There's nothing for me here. Huh. A bizarre time to be alive, for sure. And car still doesn't kill me. Got it. Nothing there. No appearance of ghost cat. How bizarre. I wonder if... Oh! Shit, the gang's back in town, huh? How you doing, boys? Large and in charge, are ya? Nothing to add, fellas? Just doing a little bit of a jig? Alright, well, I'll leave you to it. I miss Eldridge Cat. He was a good lad. Hmm. Oh, you actually do something. Weird. No! We're in... Why is it yellow? Ah. Well, I think we're good, boys. I think we're fine. Neat game. It's nice to see there are more games inspired by LSD on the PS1. Red. <laughs> ah, fun times. Let me get you back up now. How we doing? We're doing okay. Could be doing better, but eh, it happens. <sighs> What's next? Erasure Weed. Yeah, that was the VR one. Dead Heat. What are you? You look like survival horror. Dames, lies, murder mystery, and zombies in the twilight years of the 21st century. Shit, I'll play that. Let me do this. Let me wait for that to pop up. And then do that. And then we're good. Why mouse no register with the game? Is this just a thing now? Hmm. I see we're doing DOS. Yeah, you really don't want me using a controller from any of these things, do you? Weird. Well, if you insist. Empathy interrupt? Christ, man. Nice PS1 aesthetic, though. He seems like a zombie. Yeah. He's a zombie. Frank Detective, Class 3. Profile, Lilith is a seasoned, streetwise hunter zombie with a high sense of self-confidence. She relishes any chance to use her unnatural abilities to intimidate others. This looks properly cursed. A little bit. Reputation. Clean cop. You've done your best to not let the black tentacles of corruption stain your perfect record, even at the cost of some friends. The underground resents you. But those who also remain untouchable will aid a fellow crusader. And there's dirty cop. You don't mind getting a little dirty to get what you need. And your reputation for blackmail and extreme measures precedes you. Honest folk will see you as trouble. While some in the underground understand you know the score. Manipulating and threatening isn't a job. It's a snaking into the minds of men pressuring their most vulnerable side for your own ends is a challenge you derive endless pleasure from. You're descending into the other text, man. Criminals and honest folk alike want nothing to do with you, but that won't stop you from falling to something, something, something. Let's be a good lad, huh? Let's do that. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, hang on. Oh, God. I have to do a little bit of a thing here. It's not one to work properly. I can't see the whole thing. This is weird. I shouldn't really be doing this. I don't know why it is. Okay, yeah, that works. Kill me with Sleeping Beauty up. Because she isn't me right now. Is it tank controls? Um, no, actually. Not really. Excuse me. Hello. Nothing wants to use the mouse anymore. Excuse me. I beg your pardon, sir. You use this job. Seems like this stopped bothering you. Most of the time, it's some poor sap whose luck ran out on him. More often than not, with his wife. This guy looks the part. Let's see how bad his luck is. Hmm. Is that first line? He keeps skipping. Shit. How about you, fella? What's your story? Another willing subject to add to your inventory, Dr. Frankenstein. I don't need to build a monster when I have you around me. Fair enough. Well, you can always make yourself another friend. I don't make friends with corpses. Hmm. Fair enough. I try not to. They usually end up under my knife. Not by their own choice, I assume. Only about your new friends. 32 years old in human years, roughly 64 years old in zombie. Blood reading shows Z. Eh, uh, same as me. Ow. Yeah, just with 40% less alcohol. It's vivid. Damage? Scan to show the fall shattered most of his rib cage. Glass has dug itself deep into the organs and punctured his lungs in several different places. Must have been thrown out with some force. CSI still poking around up there. They just left. Photographed everything up there, but couldn't stick around to give you the normal walkthrough. Something called them downtown. They said that they will have a report on your desk, hopefully by the end of the night. Now hold them to that. Me and Sonya will head up and peek around. You taking Mr. Bryant back to your happy place? Eh, as much as I can get from scans. I'll drag him downtown and get him on the slab. You girls should come see me when you get back to the station. I'll go through the autopsy and see what we find. Always a pleasure. No, it isn't. Ray of sunshine you are, huh? How do we get up this place, then? A lag behind, lady. No, oh, our POV for the camera seems like the window he got thrown out of, actually. Shit, that works. Yeah, here's the door. In we go. I could do with a fucking undead fucking detective noir story. Around and see if we can find anything ourselves. Right, right, right. Huh. Oh, it's a point and click when I get into investigation phase. It's like one of those old matchbooks from my dad's time. Why the hell would someone like Leon have something like this? Nothing else, really. Fair enough. Toss the place. Not really any sound in here, is there? Explosion Fighter 5! Not much to find here, is there? No, not really. How bizarre. Hmm. 
Nothing on the couch. No, this place is bigger than I thought it was. Don't get hung up on furniture, for God's sake. Oh, hey, actual lighting. Bunny loops. Brother, I want my loops. No, no help. Same screen, never mind. And in the fridge? There. Are you seriously still stuck there? God damn it, woman. I'm the scene of the crime. I should grab some blood and take back to Bish to play with just in case the white coats didn't. Yeah, about that. Nothing else? Doesn't seem like. Chungus loops. Yeah, I suppose it is Chungus loops. Seriously, why are you hung up on furniture? Just walk around. It's not that hard. Find anything interesting? Looks like one of those old matchbooks. It's got Finnegan's logo on it. When did Michael start making bar goodies? Didn't think he did Kit Kats. Hell, he doesn't even sell cigarettes. Then what the hell is this? No idea, but if he has sold them, and it's only recently, this means that Leon has been to the bar. I have to ask Michael about this. I can stop by the bar tonight and ask him. Remember seeing Leon walk in while we were there? Never seen him before in my life. Hmm. I'll keep looking. Trying to get hung up on furniture again. Even though you're totally about to. Now... No, nope, she figured it out. You know, I don't seem to have the ability to run unless I'm missing it. Which is entirely possible. Hmm. Go through his browser history. See what fucked up shit the guy was into. See what his merch search tags are. To Leon Bryant. I'm writing this message to you to remind you of the severe penalties regarding the misplacement of security passes. These are in place to ensure your safety and the safety of those of everyone else at the NYX Pharmaceuticals. The loss of your security pass has endangered you and your co-workers. As this is your first infraction, you will be issued this warning. Repeat infractions will see your pay reduced for the month. Further infractions will see your employment contract ended. You'll be issued your replacement card in the next three weeks. We advise all employees to store their cards in secure and memorable locations around their homes. Please ensure to take every possible measure to keep this placement safe. Weird. There's a note scribbled on the back. Give matchbook to Matt when the time comes. I don't know what the code is. Remind him the last two numbers are my real age. Huh. Go figure. Do I have, uh... I was gonna say, do I have a journal? About, uh... I don't want to interact with the evidence. I want to... Yeah, that's about all I have there, huh? Really not much noise in this game, is there? I mean, I do like it. Not seeing a run. Huh. Oh, wait, no, it's left control. That's weird. Yeah. Go figure. That's just odd. That feels weird. I'll just stick to walking for the time being, thank you. Unless the situation calls for it. Okay, camera. It's not real tank controls because I keep switching directions when the camera changes. Hey, Vicari. It's a mirror. Very observant. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Nothing else going on with the bed, I guess. Christ, can I play this with a controller? I can, thank God. Safe. What secrets have you gotten there, Leon? 
Well, I don't exactly have the combination to that, do I? Fuck, what's the password? Well, if I know. Uh huh. Wait, I had another thing there, didn't I? Not just that. Hmm. Okay, it's X on the controller. That works better. Well, we know a little bit more, at least. Anything interesting? You got anything? Check his bedroom. Here, notes, journals, the source. Yeah, I already did that. Didn't do much for us, I'll be honest. Out of the way. Where did it let me examine something where I can't find anything? Unless this is like classic point and click and you want me to just add up the goddamn numbers here for the safe. There a zombie in this? The one I chose as a zombie, your partner seems to be human. Five. Twenty-one. That's about all I see. Now, let's get out of here, huh? This game is low as shit. See him back at the station. Yeah, let me do a thing here. Let me just bump that the fuck up. Yeah, that works better. Christ. There. God. Starting off low, aren't you? Okay, if I use a controller, it operates on proper tank control principles. Is this nothing? Just a bottle? Are neither of these our car? Hey. Got anything to add? Anything else? No homeless where I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Next. Into the bar and ask Michael about the matchbook or head back to the station meet up with Glenn. Your call. Well, uh, shit. Yeah. How do I exit dialogue? How does one exit dialogue? Oh God, it's happening. No, I want I want exit dialogue. I want to exit dialogue though. Nothing's working. Oh God. Oh no. It's happening. Why is it still on the screen? Maybe if I use the mouse for it. Hmm. Now I'm caught in a loop here. Unfortunate. I do like this. It's interesting, but... I seem to be a bit fucking stuck. That's a weird bug. A really weird bug, actually. Oh. Did I do it? No. Apparently not. Uh. Why, though? Well, fuck. No, nope, pausing doesn't do it. This is a weird bug. God damn it. I was getting into that. Wait, me picking anything does that? That's weird, isn't it? No, oh, Rid, you redeem and pat the boy. You can pat the boy if you like. There you go. 
Also, I just realized this is not scaled properly. For whatever reason. Eh. 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 Why? Why, though? Do that. That, I guess? Huh. Well, no help there. Yeah, I'm a bit fucking stuck in this menu. Well, that's a shame. <gasps> Gonna have to exit out of that one. God damn it. I like the concept of that. It seemed neat, but the uh, bugs are some shit, unfortunately. Well, in that case, let's go on to the next one for the time being. I like what you got going on here, but figure your bugs out. Uh, did we do Ode to the Moon last time? Yes, we did. I remember that one. Sauna, we did. Dread Delusion, we did. A Place Forbidden? The Library of Ouroboros and its vast store of occult knowledge is finally within your reach. In the end, it was almost too easy to find. Alright, here's a new one. Let me just tab out again, then I have to do the switch over in OBS for that. And then we do a little that. Now, is that scaled properly? It is. The last one didn't do that for whatever reason. Okay, back to it. Okay, good, you have mouse controls. That's a good start. Begin. The Library of Ouroboros. I'm finally here. It's almost anticlimactic to stand so easily within its walls after all those years of searching. If the rumors are true, the library contains knowledge beyond anything one might hope to find on Earth. Words of power, occult learnings, enough to transcend death will be mine. All of it. I just need to know where to look. Huh. Books on philosophy, history, and a few stray encyclopedias. Not useful. It contains mostly horror novels. How droll. Hey, Proxy, welcome. A few volumes stand out on math and physics, but the rest are from more obscure wings of science. Interesting, but not what I'm looking for. A transcript. I've been having these nightmares, Doctor. I'm alone, but I don't feel alone. Not like I should. Rather, there's no one with me, but that's not to say there's nothing around. It's difficult to explain, but it is an uncomfortable feeling. Something drones low in the background all the while. I can hear snatches of whispers, but only just barely. Like something is conversing with me just out of my range of hearing. As if something is watching just out of my sight range. Everything's too still. It's wrong. I don't remember how I got there, and I can't figure out how to leave. Everything is all hallways upon hallways, shelves of books that look like they've never been opened. Almost all of them are still, and yet I get a feeling. Like I mustn't open any of them, whatever I do. There's a pull towards them, of course, a sense that I will learn more than I could ever hope to on Earth. But there's a danger, a vague, creeping danger. A feeling that something is very, very interested in every move I make. Who or what I might be, I don't know. I don't know if it wants to bring me in, or if it wants me to leave. How does it end? Well... As I mentioned, there's no real way to escape. Every place I go leads to more rooms. But eventually, after a time, I don't really hear them as much as feel them. Look no further, look no further, look no further. And then I wake. And every time I feel farther from this world. To be honest, Doctor, I hope it's all in my imagination. I hope I'm afflicted with some kind of mania. Because a place like that can't exist, shouldn't exist, and if it does, then I can only hope that no one else would be so unfortunate as to visit it. Huh. Novels, science fiction, and fantasy, as well as a few stray romance novels. Biographies, I've heard none of these people. 
Almanacs, useless. Look at that in a sec. Huh. Partial history of the library. The library of Ouroboros wasn't so much built as it simply came to be. That much we've been able to glean from the early, murky tales about a certain endless structure rich in occult knowledge. The first tale was penned by an unnamed Gaelic mystic who compiled a variety of accounts from travelers complaining of strange dreams. Many of these travelers' accounts of the place were the same, endless hallways of strange materials, magic devices that seemed to give off light or sounds without any visible source. But rarely were there many tangible details aside from these characteristics and the font of knowledge ringing the walls of the place. This, of course, changed in approximately 670 when the mystic was visited by a lone woman. She was reportedly wild-eyed, half-mad, and complaining of dreams much the same as her follows, I'm sorry, fellows. But she claimed that these dreams became reality briefly and that she, at one point, even visited that bleak place. She claimed to run into a dark, amorphous figure with a score of glowing red eyes. This place apparently spoke to her, promising her black knowledge should she only pledge herself to it. Though the mystic asked how this woman escaped such a place, the woman gave no explanation. In fact, she spoke no further, withdrawing from the mystic's hut to begin her traveling anew. She was never seen or heard from again. This testimony is hardly a concrete example of the library's existence, but it certainly makes one wonder if tales like this could exist from the earliest days of modern man. What other truths could lie buried deep in the past? Should one be willing to tunnel through the cobwebs of years to reach the ancient tales hidden underneath? Huh. I need water. Excuse me a moment. I'm doing a lot of talking. Minister's Doom, Act 3, Scene 2. <clears throat> Bernice enters, followed closely by the librarian. Bernice is breathless, looking both exasperated and slightly excited. The librarian's expression is unreadable, as per usual. But my husband will find out about us. He won't stay out forever. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. But shall we retire to the living room if we are to speak of such unpleasantness? says your husband. Bernice's face breaks suddenly into a grin. She grabs the librarian's hand, taking him out of the couch beside her. Fine, then. If you are to stay, I want to hear some of those secrets you keep talking about. You can't play with me for the fool forever. I would never claim to do such a thing, my dear. Would you care to hear of how I can stop a human heart with but a word? Goodness, that sounds dangerous. It most certainly is. I wish to hear it, and of course you shall. Complete global saturation. Yeah. He leans close to Bernice, who closes her eyes as if expecting a kiss. But the librarian leans past her, whispering something in her ear. Bernice's eyes open wide. She gives a single jerk, a strangled moan, and goes limp, sliding off the couch. Too curious for her own good. He stands, reaching in one of his pockets to withdraw a single black case containing Bernice's wedding ring. Taking a cursory look around the living room, the librarian eventually focuses on a single point on the opposite side. The librarian crosses the floor, leaves his item, and turns to leave. As he does, so the scene darkens, leaving only a single spotlight to illuminate the stage. It's fixed on the small black case which the librarian has decided to leave sitting atop the minister's writing desk. Hmm. On the founder. They came to the domain of blank canvas in the cosmos from places unknown in oldest time. They have existed longer than man, longer than the sentient stones of Ur. Ur? Ur? One of those. Longer than the cosmic force that runs through all things, they have always been. They saw the ruin that coursed through the universe, the constant in and out flux of entropy. And with entropy went items of worth, and it was that worth that they sought to salvage. 
Elder Scrolls level of actual books in the game? I suppose so, isn't it? Need some lusty Argonian maid material up in this bitch. Not things, ideas, thoughts, power, intangible. Through the years they reached, for their powers were immense. Through eons they snatched up secrets, dark and light. But it wasn't long before it all became too much, even for those ancient. The remaining pages have been torn out of this book, and their place is a single piece of lined paper with an untidy scrawl standing upon it in red ink. The key to go further could have been deciphered from the last word in each of these books. But I tore them out. Couldn't let anyone else go any deeper. Sorry, but trust me, it's better this way. As you close this book, you make out a single word scratch not written into the inner cover. Your predecessor must have missed it, or else it was made after the note was placed. Telephone. A phone, you say? Right. Else to grab before that? No, I suppose not. Huh. Pretty cool. Yeah. It ain't bad. I liked the last game we were doing. Were we doing, like, a tank control survival horror detective as a zombie thing? It seemed neat. Unfortunately, bugs kind of fucked that up. I wonder if that got made into a real game. I might look into that. It seemed nice. Nor is it mobile and can only imagine what strange arcane secrets lie behind its varnished surface. All you had to give me was telephone. Unfortunately, it's not really much of a state. Desk. Beneath? Telephone. Beneath desk telephone? Ah, sneaky bastard. Welcome, Message. From all our staff, welcome. We're glad you're here. As we're sure you're aware, the Library of Ouroboros is located in a picturesque part of Britain, atop a grassy knoll east of Sussex. Many rural townships, obviously bereft of their own libraries, refer their villagers to the library. It is beloved by all. We hope you'll take your time perusing our vast stores of literature, non-fiction, fiction, occult knowledge, cursed knowledge, words to melt the eyes of anyone who reads them, psalms of murder and otherwise. You'll certainly have time enough, Bernard. You'll certainly have time enough. Good to know. Well, dropped a key. Well, no time like the present. Wait, do I have an inventory? Do I not have an inventory? I assumed it would just be an auto-use. Was it for something else? There are two doors here. Ah! Book mentioned my name, a coincidence, nothing more. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Besides, it was mistaken. The library wasn't in England. I found it in the German city of Ulberg, sequestered away behind an ancient church. Such a small, unassuming front, as if by looking so plain it might hide from the rest of the world. Can't read you. Can't read you. Not you either. Not a thing. Except you. Huh. You're an avid reader, aren't you, Bernard? You can't read these books, but don't fret. They'll pave your road to new knowledge. If you're stuck, think of yourself like a cataloger or a librarian. It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The case towards the window seems as good a place to start as any. A frigid scene. There was no fog outside earlier. Locked as well. Damn. You want me to count how many are on each shelf starting from here, huh? Two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, forty six, forty six, one, two, three, four, five, four, six, five, four, six, five, one, two, three, four, six, five, three. Four, six, five, three. Brass key, baby. Finally, here's hoping that's the last of the locks. I doubt you're so fortunate. Dark. Thanks, I kind of figured it out. I never felt threatened by a chair before. Seems like someone tried to board this room off. I can't remove the nails with my hands. I hear you down there, motherfucker. Come on, you can climb through that. It's not that hard. Nothing. Spooky. A little bit. Bruise through shelves. Nothing. Not a thing. El Zilcho. Not a... Not a goddamn thing. Weird. But you. No. 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 No nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Hmm. Astonishing. I really thought there'd be one by now. Granted, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for, but... I just noticed that plant. Those flies are moths. Why would they be circling a dead tree? Screwdriver. Yeah, it works. You know, I've never thought to just rip out nails with a screwdriver, yet here we are. Place is a little bit more fucked up than the rest of the place, huh? Yeah, I hear you. How is this possible? Don't question it. You're not exactly on Earth anymore. Oh, I see Kingpin lives here. The ever-changing book, huh? You'll regret it, you'll regret it, you'll regret it, you'll regret it, you'll regret it. Something is wrong. What was your first indication? Well, I'm working on it. Something is scratching its way into my head. It will never open again. I'm trying to bash the door down, and it's not helping. So what, because I'm a nerd, you're going to spare me? Are you going to teach me to be a sorcerer? I could go for that. Thank you for visiting our library. Okay. Follow further development here. Shit, that was neat. Neat little thing. Go support. Good stuff. Back here. A place forbidden. Good stuff. Why do I keep going the opposite direction? Uh, have we done this one? Yes, it was that one. Snow castle we've done. I... Yeah, we've done that. It's the dream one. 
Tasty Ramen Effigy, Until Midnight, Orange County, Heartworm. Tasty Ramen we have not done. We've got a few more, it looks like. Colorful horror game about a haunted ramen mascot. Lovely. Let's see what happens. And do a switch over. And then we do this. And then we do this. And then we go... God damn it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Tasty ramen. Okay. E to start. Huh. Oh, hey, welcome to this special gameplay demo version of Tasty Ramen. Just a quick explanation before we start. You can run while holding the shift key. You can grab items by pressing E. You can place them again by pressing E again. Press the left mouse button makes you throw them. Remember, items that hit the ground can make attracting noises. One last thing. If you get tired of the game, Escape lets you leave right away. That's it. Let's go, huh? Right. Um, okay. You want me to do a key thing here, right? I hear that noise, motherfucker. I take it, don't get close to that. That's what I'm gathering. Keys. It's like Slender, but not complete shit. Away from me, foul ramen. Oh good, he forgot I existed. Oh, hey, are these posters for the other games? That's what it seems like. That's neat. I almost ran right the fuck into you. God damn. Watch where you're going. The eternal padding. Yeah, just a little bit. A few more. There was one back here, right? No, 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 not that. Goddamn ramen! Get away from me! Away with you! Yeah, you better run. Take that. Ease does it. One more. Where's the last one? There you are. You saucy little lamb, you. Get it! Um, hi. You look like you're straight out of Mega Man Legends, you know that? Ha 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 ha, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay demo. You know, if you want to catch up with the latest development, just go here. Yeah, that place. Time for some credits. This game was by Marcus Horn. The music is Psycho Drums by Joe Bro, by Edit, by Congus Bongos. Good stuff. It's a fun little thing. Good job. I like the aesthetic. I'm made by Elena. Fonts. Alright. See you next time. I'll go through that door before I start crying or something. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. All right. That's a short one. Fun time. Back to you. Actually, before we do that, let me just do a little look through. That's a nice Luqua. Good stuff. Thank you for the patsies, my mans. Oh, wait. It did not turn off, did it? Oh no, it did. Thank God. Just took a sec. We good then. We good, boys. Just gotta keep on keeping on. Okay. Next up on the list. Did we do Effigy last time? Yeah, this was the... Uh, the horror series Sam thing. Until midnight. Description. Narrative adventure about mice, fat cats, and the never-ending quest... Or cheddar. I go for some cheese. Cheese is good. 
Cheese is delicious, even. Let me do a switch over here. Hang on. It has to load up first. Give it a sec. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's starting. It's starting right away. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. Uh, switch over. To the... Why doesn't it have a... The window doesn't have a title. Weird. In the middle of no light... Cute. It has been rudely awakened by the landlord demanding an extortionate amount of rent. You don't have the cheddar to cover it. So you've gone into the nearby neighborhood in search of odd jobs to scrounge up crumbs. I am Mouse. Hear me roar. Hello there. How you doing? The hefty mouse behind the bar looks you up and down, their paw rapidly spinning a bolt of cloth inside a thimble. Hmm. Hi there. I haven't seen you around here before. Surely you didn't just wander in from the trail. I live around here. Yeah, you just move in? I don't get out much. Fair enough. Not a whole lot to do out here anyway. That's something you need? Any crumbs? Ah, just what I like to hear a mouse motivated to work. I mean, assuming you are looking for work for those crumbs. What do you need me to do? Well, we had a bit of a roach problem in the cellar. They're quite huge. Would probably take a skilled swords mouse to fell one. So that rules you out. But uh, I got something more your speed. A letter that needs to be delivered. You familiar with nine lives? What's that? Really? It's the biggest chain owned by fat cats. You've definitely seen one at some point. They're everywhere. At any rate, there's one just uh, further down the path here. That's where you're going. Take this letter and give it to the cashier. They'll be the ones to pay you. Don't listen to any pleas they come up with. They're a rampant liar. What do they do? Nothing. Deliver the letter and don't open it. Trust me. Just hand that over, and you'll get something nice in return. We know when it's taken care of. Stay safe out there. What's your deal? Hey there. You're that new mouse around here, right? The one that does uh, whisker deliveries? Seen you out there now and then doing deliveries just like me. Is that your side gig? I quite. Ah, oh, my friend, there's no shame in it. <laughs> I'm a cog just like you. I know your pain all too well. We're comrades out there. The everlasting chase for Cheddar. It's so fruitless. I could use some help. What's up? I'm being evicted. No shit, me too. <laughs> Let's be friends. We're already co-workers. I hate that, though. Whisker is terrible. It's another dumb fat cat's initiative cooked up to follow Humey trends. Pays the bills. Not enough, apparently. Not like you have much of a choice anyway. Hardly any jobs out here, much less anything hiring. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Get a little bit too close to home here. It's nice not having to work at one of those stupid shops like Nine Lines, but I don't know how good that really is. All I do day in, day out, is sprint up and down the trail, handing richer mice food they can afford for scraps of crumbs off the top. I don't have to stop unless I want to, which is really good, but also it's not like I have to go out there and no one is making me. <laughs> and no one cares about me out there. It's lonely. I miss camaraderie. I had a tumble the other week while I was running a delivery. Fell down a hillside. Steep. It really messed me up. I bounced off some rocks on the way down. I had a hard time walking, and the doc I saw told me it was going to cost a good hunk of cheddar to fix me up. You don't really have much stored away, because I'm barely making crumbs anyway, you know? You can't save on that, kiddens. Plus, after paying for the checkup, I can barely afford to eat. Now I couldn't get to make more money, because my job relies on me being able to run all over the place. Real shit sandwich, let me tell you. I tried to reach out to Whisker, tell him, you know, that I was working for you guys while this happened. You know, I pulled myself back up on the trail and hobbled all the way to the end of my delivery still. I mean, it helped front some of the cost, make me feel like they valued my work, appreciated the due diligence and finishing out an order after that. <laughs> it told me I was the one responsible for me, so now here I am. Got some crumbs for drinks, they slowly limp up and down the trail for a few more crumbs for some more drinks, and I survive. <laughs> I don't feel like talking much anymore. Fair enough. Peace be with you, brother.
up the trail, he said, right? What's this? Note stuck to the door reads. Shoebox Apartments, opening soon, located at the scenic outskirts. The shoebox offers luxurious living for an affordable price. 56 Cheddar Cycle, you too can enjoy a roomy six square inches in the hottest new craze, microburrows. Contact us during Big Light to fill out an application. Please, note that applications cost a half cycle's rent. Applications do not guarantee placement within the complex. Fee is non-refundable. Jackasses. What about people thinking rats are Chicago mobsters? I mean, it adds up pretty well. Yeah, this seems like the place. Any rat titties in here? Did you know rats don't have a gag reflex? Shoutouts to Bay. Eh, can't even go around it. Yo. Lean lazily on the counter. Obviously young, obviously extremely bored. Don't seem to notice your approach. You wave your paw a little at them and they come too. Oh, uh, hi. You buying something? Here's a letter. Shift nervously, averting their gaze from yours. Uh, what the... do you mean? He hands it over. Look, I don't have anywhere near enough crumbs. I'm just a messenger. Sure, sure, but first you, then who? Or they send someone actually threatening to my borough. I mean, my parents' borough, but... I mean, I live there too, just not with them, you know, because they suck. Anyway, I don't think I can afford that. You gotta help me out. Send it for me. Sure, we'll figure something out. Look, my friend can take care of all of this, I promise. Or not, I don't really know, but they've been looking for someone helpful, apparently. I'm too gung-ho, whatever that means. Okay. Alright, so, you're gonna head out of here, take a left. You should see a real small path through the grass. That'll take you to a cliff. Knowing them, there should be an old mouse staring at nothing out there. They know everything there is to know about this place. They'll know what to do about the barkeep. And I know... You've got a lot of questions about all this, so I'm sure they can cue you in on what a mess this place is. Here, this is a note explaining everything. Just hand that over. Thankfully scrolled note. I'll close up early and meet you over there when I'm done. I'll talk more about what to do. It's exciting. You say so. It is. Today might just be the red-letter day we've been waiting for if you decide to help my friend. Anyway, I gotta start getting pussed away here. I Go be caught up. Good luck. Anything in the turret? No, I can't even go in. Make a left, he says. Oh, the fireflies are out. Shouldn't they be, like, bigger? Considering my size here? He's a blind mouse. Oh, hello there, squirt. What can I do for you? I have a note for you. Eh, let me have a look. Oh, that poor youngling. Eh, I suppose you have a lot of questions, don't you? Hell yeah! A farce of monumental proportions, Squirt. The felines have swindled us time and again. What's happening now is by far the worst swindle that they've ever wrought. What about the kid? The squabble between that child and the barkeep is nothing compared to what the cats have with their paws on. Barkeep is only the beginning, I assure you. I understand how a system of control can wrap its mealy tail around a society of intelligent creatures. For the fat cats, it's a simple matter of disinformation, smokescreen, silencing any squeaks of dissidents. A concert, a, co a, co a concerted, that's the word, effort set of establishment, <laughs> set to establish complete and utter control of how we perceive reality itself. Set their paws to create a hyper-reality in which we find ourselves immersed. A world so doused in the muddied waters of the true and the untrue that the lines between them are inexorably blurred? Until we can no longer see the water we swim in. After all, if we can't know what is or isn't real, how can you make any meaningful change or fight injustice? How do you know if there's a problem within the system to begin with? And those who dare go against the grain find themselves quickly swatted down by the iron pall of totalitarianism. 
There's a reason our last attempt to overthrow our feckless leader, as is called the Final Rebellion, a statement of what reality will be as much as one, want, one of it was. Lost our chance to turn the tide. What happened? Inflation, undermining, turning us against one another, creating unsurmountable walls between us. An external group to turn a hateful eye upon stops one from focusing on the real internal issues. A dastardly plan to blind us with our own hatred. The barkeep was such a mouse who fell entranced by the siren song, The Blame. The thought movement that placed all of the hardships of mousehood squarely on the shoulders of non-mice, excluding the felines, of course. Anger is far easier to harbor than love. The cats knew that and exploited it to its fullest. The fuck are you on about? Tell me, when was the last time you saw a rat? Never seen one. There's a reason for that, as there is for all things, one that I'm sure you understand. Originally, this oak stood above all the woods here, a guardian high above the tree line. The fat cats would have those they called lesser beings with cold calculation hanged from its branches. Tree of growth, they called it. We shed the weight of their burden upon us as a society to achieve greater heights, or so they'd have you believe. The barkeep was the grim caretaker of this place, an ancient family home that they had themselves inherited. Eventually, the oak turned in time into an inn, but they couldn't keep it afloat after the issuance of Cheddar. But with the advent of the den, no soul wished to venture this far, especially not for a fee. Desperate and low on Cheddar, they turned the oak over to fat cats when they expressed a keen interest in the location. The rats weren't the only undesirables in the eyes of the felines. One group is rarely enough to bear the brunt of such ire for long. Quickly, the oak became a harbor for all sorts of enemies of the establishment. Any who earned their ire began to quietly disappear. For a while, the mice brought here would simply be adjusted. No one was ever quite the same when they came back. It wasn't until much later we realized that the bastards were making them infertile. That's why you have to stop them. What? You're an unknown entity here. I've seen you skulking about, trying not to be noticed. You slip in and out of that burrow like a spirit in the night. Going unnoticed seems to be a skill you've honed well, and it's something that could benefit all of Mouse Kind tonight. Easily enough, you could slip into the oak, scale it, and topple the feline patriarch that hides us top. Hides up top, silently lording over us. His gaze never falters from this place here. The cat in the tower controls it all. Up raising a single paw. They'd never see it coming. You're so meek, so modest in physical stature, after all. Face it. You're the perfect mouse for the job. They've all taken so much from us. It's time we take it back. We can burn away the blight that has plagued this once great society. I just want to pay rent, man. Ugh, rent, that's a good one. Who do you think owns all the land around here? The landlord? No, you're just a patsy. They shake you down for your cheddar, the go-between for whenever things can turn ugly. Barkeep's windfall from the fat cats was more than enough to snatch up the land the felines had no interest in. Your rent won't ever be a worry again if you can take the first step towards a new tomorrow. Why not have the kid do it? Too loud, too boisterous, too emotionally charged. Couldn't hold themselves together long enough to make it past the security in that oak, not like you. Fine, I'll go assassinate the rich dude. That's a spirit. First things first, we're going to need some leverage to get the keys to the fortress of the oak. May not look like much, but it's nigh impregnable. I have an idea. Go back to the tin can bar. The barkeep always scurries off this time in no light to meet their uh, superiors. Behind the bar, on the far side from the entrance, you'll find a false bottom in the last drawer. Find a bargaining chip. Bring it to me and we can set in motion a new dawn for Mousekind. I'll head towards the bar shortly after you. I just need a few more moments here. After all, who knows how many more I'll have like this, where hope springs eternal in a mouse's chest. That's not to deny an old mouse long and whiskers and brittle bone that much. Remain steadfast, Squirt. Cool. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I didn't expect you to actually accept that. Sorry, I was eavesdropping. I finished closing the store and you were so loud. At any rate, I think they're sending you after... Well, you'll see. 
I've glimpsed it before. It's beautiful. What is it? I don't want to spoil the surprise. Probably get the hell out of here before shit hits the fan. I think you're on the verge of kicking the hornet's nest, and I don't want to be around for it. Rather not be collateral damage. So I guess... I hope this isn't goodbye, just a farewell until I see you again in the big light. Hopefully we'll both stand a little taller as mice in control of their own fates for the first time in a long time. By the way, I uh, shaved a little off the top of tonight's profits when I was counting the till. I know, I know. You're toppling the meow -li -gar meow That's a pun. But just in case you end up needing to pay your rent somehow, don't die up there. Oh boy. 50 cheese. Cheese. Now I'm earning them big bucks, boys. Yo, how you doing? Oh, hey, he was long time no see. If you was, you see the barkeep? No. Oh, okay. You think you mind dragging myself another another uh, drink from behind the bar? And hey, while you're back there. I had to bring them up to speed on what you've learned about the oak. You assume they won't remember much of this anyway. Well, I'm unsure of how much of a paw the barkeep has in all this, they are won't like to believe you regarding the rest of the tale. As you mentioned the bargaining piece, the barfly's eyes light up. They rush to the other side of the bar, open the drawer, and remove the false bottom and set the object on the counter. Lord of the Hundreds? A pungent odor fills your nostrils, a scent you've never before experienced. Your senses heighten. The barfly seems to sober up almost instantly. One of the few pieces of edible cheese left in this world. Anything else gets pounded into cheddar immediately by the cats. Barkeep's the only one I know of still has a piece of contraband like this. Showed me it once. When they were a little drunk. I guess it's some kind of family keepsake or something pawed down through generations of mice. Never really thought much of it until now. Guess your story does check out. Felines wouldn't let something like this slip by them for long without good reason. Ever wonder what cheese tasted like before we turned it into crumbs? Before we used it to trade material goods and labor when it was just a simple pleasure we enjoyed with one another? Or subjugation? You trail off into silence, drifting into their thoughts. Strange impulse fills you, snout the tail. Their words echo in your mind. Why was it taken from you and your kind? Surely there'd be no harm in just... You know, we doing some blow? No, oh, really? Yeah. Guess you're already pissing them off, so... Might as well taste what our ancestor used to relish. Hope it aged well. Here. Given a piece of the Lord of the Hundreds. Bottoms up. You feel the room begin to shift. Oh no, the drugs. I see we're back on the drug trip. Spin! Strange sensation overtakes your form. Your corporeal body detaches from your spirit. A higher existence comes into focus here within this moment. Your thoughts drift to currency. What use is it? In this stream of emotions, you feel peace. Your rent no longer looms overhead, demanding your subservience to a greater system that wishes not for your best interest nor to care for you. The taste still lingers in your mouth, simply sublime. Eons of cheese eating wash over you. The natural state of things, your heritage. Why have we let them take it? What is it blocking you out of the past? It certainly isn't a law of nature. There's more of us than them. We outnumber them a million to one. Why is it that we have yet to converge to take on the upper hand? Why have we been so scared? They shouldn't take from us any longer. They can't. Not today. Not anymore. They won't. Did you feel that? I tasted that. It's like something woke within me, and I don't think it's going back to sleep. You should, uh, take this. Get out of here. Take the War of the Hundreds. I think I need to lay down. That was a lot. You're back up there. I think you might just be the one who can change all of this. House kind deserves to be free. Don Gato's gonna get a piece of my mind, motherfucker. Let's go get him. How we doing, boys? Ah, oh, shit! 
You. You fucking Mickey. I know what you stole from the bar. What do you think you are? You're coming with me. You pissed off the wrong cat. God damn it. Thank you for playing the dumb love until big light. The application will now close. Shit, that was a quaint little thing. Not bad. Interesting stuff you're working with there. The Mouse Rebellion is at hand, boys. The time is nigh. I think we only have these two left. I think. Depends if I've actually... Oh, yeah. Orange County is a skateboarding game. In that case, I suppose it's just Heartworm. This is the last one, then. Sam receives a strange tape in the mail. Watching it brings her to a deeply unsettling place that feels strangely familiar. Let me do a little bit of a check-in before we get to it, lads. Got one last thing. You gotta have a look at things once in a while. Ah, my poor neck. All right, boys. Let's do it. Close out of that. And have this wait. Go to sec. Bring this up. Properties. Change over. Heartworm. Yes. Is that good? Yes, it is. Okay. See what Heartworm's about, baby. Huh. Uh, is this going to be a controller instance? I think it might... Oh, these are proper tank controls. And I cannot use the D-pad for it. God damn it. Okay, B for inventory. What this? X. Y. Apparently nothing. Yeah, it looks neat, doesn't it? Clinician's evaluation. Sam, redacted, 23-year-old female, average height, weight, no relevant medical history. Patient reported insomnia, recurring intrusive thoughts related to self-harm, harm to others. Low self-esteem, obsessive tendencies, episodes of panic and high baseline anxiety, 7 of 10. Patient described these symptoms as chronic and varying in severity, possibly related to traumatic events from childhood. Patient also mentioned social relationships suffering as a result of symptoms. Preliminary labs return normal. Heart rate and blood pressure are elevated. Patient avoided eye contact and appears anxious. She only spoke when queried. Patient appeared detached, preoccupied with thoughts. Following diagnoses are based on currently available information and may change and additional information become available. Post-traumatic stress disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, anxiety disorder, unspecified, major depressive disorder, recurrent, moderate, panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder. In to gather information, patient referred to psychiatrist for further evaluation and urged to follow up at clinic in seven days. Patient encouraged to research exposure therapy. Hmm. How oh, odd. Uh. Uh. And enter. Enter. E. A. F. Uh. No. 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 Do. Do button though. Go all the way back to the beginning. Oh. Okay. There it is. I had to scroll over to the word exit. Mail's here. You think they list mental illnesses on Twitter? It's possible. She has a tattoo leg. Huh. Do I even own a VCR anymore? Picked up the VHS tape. Who's out there? That one left. I'm going to change now. Huh. I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Voyeurism. Well, let's pop this sucker in, I guess. 
Wait, is that my... That's not my VCR on the table, is it? No, it's just some... Oh. Huh. Are you the patient? I would assume. Put the tape in. Let's see what's on it. I need water. One moment. Sadako, is that you? Candle Cove, is that you? <clears throat> oh god, my lungs. Lungs full of cheese. Oh, we're doing one of them things, are we? Huh. The doors are locked. Carl looks so familiar. What's going on? Yeah, she got them Laura Croft polygon tits. Do you remember? I unfortunately remember a lot. Eh? Well, we do a little breaking and entering. I see we're at the Myers residence. Knock, knock. Lock from the other side. Now I'll smash a window. It'll be fine. Hard to see, but I can hear the faint hum of static through the window. Hmm. I saw that. You can't tell me you didn't see that. I seen you, static man. Okay, good job, camera. Good job, camera. It's locked. The garage door, the opening is too small to crawl through. Fuck. Hmm. Maybe there's a back door. Yes, there is. Please be open. It is. Now it just looks like a puppet combo game. That looks like you've been moved recently. Mall's covered in deep scratches. Yeah. Huh. Terrible out there. No shit. Let's check the hall before we go in there, huh? Or not. Or it's the same room. Whatever. TV won't turn off. It's a VHS player. There's no tape in it. We're doing a little bit of a layered reality thing here, aren't we? A handful of non-fiction novels. Nothing particularly interesting. Stairs blocked up by boxes. Nice little office space. Picked up the key. Hallucinations as a trauma-based memory. Implications for psychological interventions. Routine information processing involves a process called contextual, inter contextual interrogation. Integration. God damn it. Read. Whereby detailed encoding of incoming stimuli takes place, which facilitates later memory recall. For example, being able to remember who was at your birthday by recalling a full contextual image of the event. Also being able to remember what happened before and after a specific event due to the integration of relevant temporal information. However, during a traumatic event, the need for a quick behavioral response requires rapid information processing. This is achieved through a temporary decrease in contextual integration and a quick response based on a basic perceptual processing. That was the whole thing, right? Yep. The provision of a rapid response to, endanger, to danger 
As the consequence of a vulnerability to experiencing intrusive memories of the stressful event at a future date, the reduced contextual processing of the trauma stimuli makes them difficult to recall on a voluntary basis due to the lack of integration which cues which normally facilitate recall. However, the information is typically triggered involuntarily by stimuli which have a perceptual match to some aspect of the traumatic event, sound or visual stimuli that invokes memory of the event. Therefore, within these theories, reduced levels of contextual integration are considered central to the development of trauma-related intrusive memories. Thereafter, the intrusions may be maintained through a number of cognitive and behavioral processes, such as avoidance in order to develop a presentation of PTSD. However, in order to be diagnosed with PTSD, the individual or other clinician is likely to be confident that the intrusions are in fact memories of a stressful event. A number of pages are destroyed. In summary, the relationship between hearing voices, seeing visions, and traumatic events continues to intrigue clinical researchers. However, a full theoretical understanding remains elusive subgroup of voices and visions which are directly linked to stressful events are likely to be responsive to interventions which are based on a well-developed theoretical understanding of reactions to trauma. Huh. What's this? Requisite creepy painting in the weird old house. No surprises there. More books than I would know what to do with. One of them is missing. You know, this camera angle makes it look like someone's about to kick in the door and start chasing me. Unlocked. I guess we're going out to the garage. Also, I do not seem to have the ability to run. I keep pressing things and nothing happens. Oh. It works on the keyboard. Shift works on the keyboard. Very resi music. A little bit. What the hell is shift on the controller, then? Not that. Yeah, I got that, but... You don't seem to have shift mapped to anything on the pad. Huh. Unlocked it. Maybe we should just use the keyboard after all, then. Hello? Oh, there's a missing book. And a lot of VHS tapes. Goldman, Herman Hess. He thought that all men trickled away, changing constantly until they finally dissolved. While the artist created images remained unchangeably the same. He thought that the fear of death was perhaps the root of all art, perhaps also of all things of the mind. We fear death. We shudder at life's instability. We grieve see the flowers wilt again and again, and the leaves fall. And in our hearts, we know that we too are transitory, and will search for laws and formulate thoughts. It is in order to salvage something from the great dance of death, to make something that lasts longer than we do. Perhaps the woman after whom the master shaped his beautiful Madonna is already wilted or dead, and soon he too will be dead. Others will live in his house and eat at his table, but his work will still be standing hundreds of years from now, and longer. It will go on shimmering in the quiet cloister church, unchangingly beautiful, forever smiling with the same sad, flowering mouth. Tapes. A whole lot of them. A shitload. They can't pick any of them up. How about you, shelf? Nothing. How does one get up there? Because I'm not seeing much of anything I can climb on. There's nothing that reaches that high. Ah, she does a little bit of bugging. You saw it there for a sec. 
You know, the fact that the camera angle changes makes me think there's something here. You miss that thing hanging from the ceiling? Either way, I can't reach it. Uh, all I have is a key. I haven't found anything that can help me with much here. Oh, she does a little pushing, she does. There's the button. I was wondering where that was. I figured that would be for the garage door, not for something like that. Up we go, boys. My favorite book. Pick up the red book. I see the man out there. I seize him. He vanish. Off we go. Hmm. Let's go slot this into the library. This house theme is very Resident Evil. Very RE1 specifically. Place the book. Fridge! Fridge, move! It ghost! It ghost posters! Okay, easy does it. Now where might you go? Basement maybe? Yep. Yeah. I hate being right all the time. A lot of tapes down here. No camera angle change? None? Not a goddamn thing? Alright, you say so. The hell is that sound? There you go. Push it out of the way like a big strong girl. going on here? Letter from T. Sam, I tried calling, but your phone is disconnected, and I didn't know what else to do. Everyone is worried. Your boss called Mom and said you stopped showing up. I called Jane, but she said she's not talking to you anymore. I know I haven't always been there for you, but if you need anything, I want to help. What's going on with you? Is this about what happened? It was ten years ago, Sam. It's not your fault. Can't hang on to this forever. I love you. Please call me. T. Elevator. Huh. Ah. Gotta readjust a little bit. Alright. Not the music change I was expecting, I'll be honest. Into the gray fog. Huh. Not what I was expecting, I'll be honest. I can't turn. Oh my god, it's me! Except that a key. Heartworm. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you realized that one day you were going to die? No, not really. Do you remember the way it had to run through you? It's like electricity. The way it consumed your thoughts. The way it paralyzed you. No, I'll be honest. Do you remember that day? No. Kind of just always been there. Don't worry. I'll remind you. Oh. How, uh... Kind of you, I guess. Huh. <sighs> to be continued. Nice demo. Sincerely, that's cool. Good stuff. Well, let's double check.
See if we missed anything. Otherwise, that might be it. We did that. We did that last time. We did that. We did this shit. We handled that. Yep. Did it. Handled business. Yes, sir. That's that. Done and done. Dusted. Finished, even. Taken care of. All handled. We good? Yeah. Yeah, that was everything. Shit. Huh. What time are we at? What time are we at? About two and a half hours? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, I am debating. Ugh. God, my lungs. Blah, blah. Hmm. 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 It's a good demo. Good collection. By all means, everyone go check out anything that interested you. Because there was some neat stuff in there. Ooh. Well. Hmm. Well, since that's taken care of, tell you what, we can go for another hour. I have something else we can do. I have not uh, touched it at all, so we'll see what happens. PS1 demo disc. Good stuff. I know there is another uh, haunted demo disc that came out last year, I believe. So maybe we'll do that at some point, but for the time being, let's... See about this thing that I was made aware of recently. Give it a sec. Yeah! 